After two tours to Afghanistan um, as an all-source analyst and a captain, I was ready for a change. I wanted to transition out of the military, but what I did in the military, I loved intelligence. So I looked for where I could transition into the corporate world, but still keep that, that love and passion. I started my master's in cybersecurity, and it gave me that theoretical strategic background that I needed in order to apply concepts. But it wasn't until I did the Hero Corporate Fellowship that I was able to actually apply those concepts in real world situations. After Pac Mountain interviewed me, they set up an interview process with Amazon where Amazon hired me on for four months to be a program manager in their information security department. Those four months at Amazon really focused on information technology and how information security or cyber security applies in that space. After four months, I had really clicked with the team, but then my husband was moved to Fort Bragg, North Carolina, and so I needed to find opportunities closer so that I could also keep in mind my family life. Cisco was one of the biggest companies here, and I just thought to myself, that would be awesome. That would be a great place to work. Seven interviews later, I was offered a position as a project manager in their cybersecurity department which means I help engineers to really focus their energy in ways that are efficient and productive. Over the last few years, the number of hacks or breaches that you've been seeing with companies have just gone off the charts. Different companies have lost their, their customers' data or you know, the, an entire film gets stolen. Well, my team makes sure that that never happens. A lot of my time is spent in meetings, but efficient meetings, meetings that need to take place in order to improve and to increase security and to make sure that we're working collaboratively with other teams. The best part of my job is it's challenging, it's constantly changing, and I just get to make systems better. Program building is not about software building, anything technical like that. What I'm talking about are best practices, really basic things that you know you should do, but you might not do it. like having your banking password be the same as your email password or your Facebook password. We know we're not supposed to do them, so what we do is we build programs so people easily not do those things, not do the things that are insecure and could lead to a breach. In the military, a lot of our time was focused on problem solving and thinking through what are the worst possible outcomes that could happen. And I still get to do that in my job. I still get to think through how do we avoid people's credit card data getting stolen? How do we avoid the intellectual property of our company, which people have spent years developing, getting stolen, taken by another company? There are so many skills that I learned in the military that I apply every single day, patience, resiliency, adaptability, um, the basic key things that they want you to have in the military that you don't even realize you're building just because of the situations you're being put in. I first joined the military because I wanted to make a difference and I wanted to help serve our country and I'm still serving my country, just in a different way. My advice to a transitioning service member is not to look for a specific job title, but to find out what drives you. What makes you happy with what you're doing every day for eight hours? Start there, look inside yourself. If you are interested in technology and you're interested in learning, then technology is an amazing place to be. IT, cybersecurity, whatever field in that, that genre. Now, if you don't like being around computers, don't do it. But if you do, then you're on a platform for success because IT is exploding. There are opportunities all over the place.